level striker and is the former two-time glory welterweight kickboxing champion of the world. The French fighter has a long resume of spectacular knockouts and triumphant victories over some of kickboxing's best fighters. In the fall of 2023, Dumbe stamped his signature in the MMA world with a shocking nine-second knockout in the PFL. Is that low stands from Cedric? Oh! In this video today, we're going to take a look at the glorious career of the best, Cedric Dumbe. This is DBD Fight Club. Welcome back. We begin this video in 2015 where a 23-year-old Cedric Dumbe is competing in the regional kickboxing circuits of France. He participated in the Part Touche Kickboxing Tour 4 main tournament and his first opponent of the evening was Jimmy F10. Right from the gate, Dumbe was going in for the kill and let off a dangerous left hook that sent his opponent to the Shadow Realm. In the final against Babakari Tunkara, we see Dumbe mixing in a heavy combination that knocked down his opponent several times. Dumbe's wild style makes him very unpredictable, and his odd movements make him a tough target to hit. After an onslaught of heavy hooks, the fight was over, and Dumbe was the winner. Later that year at the A1 World Grand Prix, we see another important aspect of Dumbe's style, his aggression. He fights like a true predator. When he sees an opportunity, he strikes for the kill shot and lets out damaging strikes to knock out his opponents. It might look wild and reckless at times, but his accuracy and aggression makes it difficult to weather the storm. That same night in the final, he faced Turkish fighter Vedat Hodu, and he proved to be a much more difficult opponent. After getting knocked down in the first round, Hodouk and Dumbe went on to have a very competitive fight, but in the end, it was Dumbe who was awarded the decision victory. And just over a month later, in the La Nuit de Champion tournament in Marseille, France, Cedric Dumbe cruised to a beautiful victory after not one, but two amazing knockdowns. The buzz surrounding Dumbe was growing rapidly, and now larger organizations were fighting to sign the French fighter. Before the A1 tournament, Cedric lost in his glory kickboxing debut against Yoan Kongolo, but his impressive performances in the regional circuits earned him a title contender match against the Dutch Mertel Grunhart, who was ranked number one in the welterweight division of glory. You don't see that too. Sparks flew instantly as both fighters exchanged heavy shots in just the first few seconds. They both have unorthodox styles making it a very interesting fight, but it was Cedric Dumbe who displayed really well-timed counters to nullify Grunhardt's strikes. Dumbe's elusive movements make him a tough target to hit, and his style makes it difficult to read. After beating the number one contender, it was only right that Dumbe got a shot at the champion and proceeded to call out. Nikki. The Dutch champion, aka The Natural, was set to defend his belt for the fourth time, but Dumbe came to foil his plans. Holskin took control of the center of the ring for a majority of the bout, forcing Dumbe to waste energy by moving constantly. To Holskin's surprise, that's how Dumbe prefers to fight. Cedric's unpredictable movements make it incredibly frustrating to fight against. He does an exceptional job moving off the center line and throwing strikes off angles, sometimes to the complete surprise of his opponents. Dumbe was mixing in beautiful strike combinations and was landing crisp uppercuts and leg kicks to slow down Holskin. The judges had their winner, and Cedric Dumbe was now the new welterweight champion of glory. The rematch came nearly six months later and started off with a samurai type move from the natural. He actually looks a lot leaner this fight. Dube was fighting a bit more in the pocket during this rematch, letting off fast strikes to outscore his opponent. Dumbe does a superb job in mixing in the intensity and power of his strikes, making it difficult for his opponents to prepare. Oh, there is pressure fighting. After finding himself in front of Holskin, Dumbe let off some heavy knees to both the head and body. Dumbe was also countering very well, landing this clean check left hook. He switches. He'll go inside. Oh, 
While the fight was a lot closer than most anticipated, it was Dumbe who was awarded the split decision victory over Holskin and was still the welterweight champion of glory. In his next fight, Cedric Dumbe would defend his belt against a familiar opponent, Murthal Grunhardt. Say that Grunhardt has a better shot. Both fighters were swinging a lot in the first initial rounds, with Grunhardt more successful and landing more strikes. Nice slip from Dumbe. As mentioned before, both fighters have unpredictable and unorthodox styles, but Grunhardt's elusive movements made it difficult for Dumbe to land clean strikes. He slipped some right hands. Neither. Apparently prior to the fight, Dumbe went through a terrible weight cut which subsequently affected his stamina and resulted in a performance that was unlike him. New glory welterweight champion of the world! Unfortunately, Dumbe couldn't replicate his prior performance, and the Dutch Grunhardt was crowned the new welterweight champion. After losing the belt, Cedric Dumbe went one and one in his next two fights. But in May of 2018, something switched in his head, and he went on a dominating winning streak unseen in kickboxing for decades. They'd make him stay up all night. Oh, and a right hand from Dumbe! After knocking out Thai challenger Tong Chai Sit Sung Pianong in just 33 seconds, Dumbe went on to fight Argentinian fighter Alan Scheinson in a dominating performance from start to finish. Once again, it took Dumbe 30 seconds to knock down his opponent, but the fight continued, and he went on to punish the Argentinian for two more rounds, landing damaging hooks and strikes to overwhelm his opponent. Here's our statistic. A simple 1-2 would see a second knockdown, and a left uppercut would set up the inevitable finish. And after 20 seconds of relentless strikes, the referee saw enough. French Muay Thai challenger Jimmy Vigneault. Dumbe once again scored a knockdown within the first minute of the opening round, but Vigneault landed a knee in the clinch at the end of the round that would stumble Dumbe. Nonetheless, Dumbe brought the heat for the remainder of the fight. Clipping right hand for Dumbe! The three minutes, you gotta put more action. Not only was his output high, but Dumbe was landing a majority of his punches and was landing with serious intent. Oh, and a right hand sends Vigneault down! One. If he's to get it. He ultimately scored another knockdown and secured the victory, and this performance earned him a shot to fight for the welterweight belt once again. In 2019, the belt belonged to Harut Gregorian. The Armenian fighter was a tough challenge, but Cedric Dumbe was absolutely confident he would dismantle the champion, and so he did. Ooh, nice left Harut hand spent the majority of the fight walking down Dumbe, but the Frenchman was exceptional fighting on his heels, finding angles, and setting up heavy strikes. A beautiful overhand right sat down Gregorian, and the fight was slowly slipping from his grasp. In the midst of such wild exchanges, it was Dumbe who got the better of them, and after some clean uppercuts, the ref issued a standing eight count. Look at Dumbe! Leave it another big uppercut! All Dumbe could sense and feel was the belt, and he wanted it strapped around his waist once again so badly. starting to show signs of becoming an absolute master in kickboxing, demolishing challengers left and right. And his next opponent was Alim Nabiev, and he had a similar fate as Gregorian did. The Azerbaijani fighter was quite taller and longer than Dumbe, and was finding some success with his long jabs and even some knees. But Dumbe's aggressiveness and power intensity mixtures was just too much for the challenger. A clean counter right hook in the second round would spark the inevitable end for Nabiev. stalked his prey, lined up his sights, and went in for the kill shot. Here's Dupe. He's turned into one of the best finishers in the world! It is the world! Cedric does the A 
knockout of the year contender, and Dumbe was looking untouchable in the glory promotion. It seemed like the Frenchman was light years ahead of the competition, and no one had an answer for the best. His second title defense was set to be against Grunhardt, but back and forth injuries and positive COVID results would halt the trilogy. Glory scrambled to find a new replacement, and they found one in Kareem Gaji. The promotional newcomer was 39 years of age at the time, but he had an impressive record to show in Muay Thai and kickboxing. Just like their previous challengers, Dumbe's opponents would do their best to defend his strikes, but his wild and unpredictable performances continued to give him all sorts of problems. A beautifully timed counter right hook would seal the deal. Glory was able to finalize the long-awaited trilogy match between Doombay and the interim champion at the time, Murtel Grunhardt. The weapons, especially when Doombay opens up with round punches. Oh, that right hand sends After a heavy right hand sent Grunhardt to the ground, Doombay launched a full offensive barrage of strikes, and in the end of the second round, the same right hand would finish the fight. Build-up for the fight was intense, but Dumbe made this challenge look easy. His stellar performance actually brought up a lot more questions than answers, like what could possibly be next for the French champion. In October of 2021, Cedric Dumbe announced his retirement from kickboxing and his desire to pursue MMA. The French phenom dominated the kickboxing scene for five years and beat every contender that came across his way. Dumbe was seeking a new challenge, and he got what he asked for when he made his MMA debut in Dubai of November 2021 against Chechen fighter R.B. Emiev. And just like you would expect, he was dominating in his debut. After stiffing a few early takedowns, Dumbe went for the leg catch and sweep to control his opponent on the ground. Emiev found his way up, but couldn't compete in the striking department. But he's getting caught, and he's getting shot, he's up now! A clean right uppercut followed by some ground and pound to finish the fight in the opening round. Nearly six months later, he returned to Paris to compete in the MMA GP promotion against Chai Title. Dumbe spent the majority of the two rounds hunting down his opponent, forcing him to back up to the cage after landing heavy combinations to the head and body. Just before the beginning of the third round, the ref waved his hands as Chai Title was unable to continue. Against French fighter Florian Brunio, a sequence of a left hook, straight right, and a rear knee to the body would curl up his opponent, and he finished it off with the winning ground and pound. Against Polish fighter Paweł Klimas, Dumbe dominated the fight, but a left hook would floor his opponent and bring the crowd to their feet. In the summer of 2023, Cedric Dumbe was signed to the PFL and was booked for a main event bout in Paris against French MMA prospect Jordan Zebo. It was a heated and entertaining buildup, with Dumbe taunting his opponent by walking out with a mattress with Goodnight Jordan written on it and by chanting in French, Jordan, you are dead. After a taunting war cry just before the opening bell, Cedric Dumbe landed a left hook that would shock the world. Is that low stands from Cedric? Oh! like footballer Kylian Mbappe would rise to their feet in awe of what they just witnessed. Dumbe ended the fight in 5 seconds and this performance would catapult him to MMA superstardom in the blink of an eye. <laughs> what do you guys think about Cedric Dumbe? 
think he performs just as well in MMA as he did in kickboxing? Could he be MMA's next successful kickboxer, like Alex Poeton?